blood transfusions have finally started. It has been a very long day, uh, lots of drama. So we got here at eight in the morning. It's pretty dead. Um, got here, had to get their IVs put in. Harry's veins are very small. So we had to have an ultrasound machine to kind of see where his veins are. And even with that still, he had to be stuck a few times. So that took a while. Uh, got them in and then we were waiting for blood. It's really busy at the hospital today because it's right before Christmas and everybody's, you know, trying to get in their, their final procedures before the holidays. So that's fine. I brought my laptop and a book and lots of things that I needed to get done. So we finally got to the point where we were going to start hooking up the blood. And the first thing that happened was Max's blood bag ripped. Total fluke, complete accident got blood all over, but then we had to wait for another bag of blood. So that kind of sucked. And then we were going to get Harry's blood started and his IV blue. So he had to get another IV. So they came back in and put in another IV with the ultrasound machine. So that took a while. And finally, by about 2 p.m., we got both of their blood transfusions started. The staff here is awesome, very welcoming, and we don't really mind coming here. I mean, it sucks, but at the same time, it's not its not that bad. You know, you just do what you need to do. So today, Harry is being transfused 55 milliliters of O negative, and Max is being transfused 65 milliliters of O negative. They are both A positive, but O negative, the universal donor, that is the kind of blood they're getting today. They will transfuse for three and a half hours. I believe it's like 16, 15 to 17 milliliters an hour for them, three and a half, four hours to transfuse. And then after that, we are just going to have the discharge paperwork and get the heck out of here. We didn't have to be admitted to the hospital or anything. This is the hematology clinic. So it's kind of just like, you know, a daytime thing, I guess. Boys are doing great. Uh, Harry is pretty tired, lots of crying and all that jazz, but all in all, it's going well. We've got, we're about an hour, hour and a half in. So we've got about another two, two and a half hours. I am going to work on editing some video and hopefully everything goes smoothly for the rest of the day. Pretty tired. Um, they are seven weeks old at this point. So, you know, still not sleeping through the night, but they are doing, doing really well. It's just, you know, constant. It's always something, especially with twins. Um, but I am very thankful and blessed to have twins that are, they're really good. They don't really give me any issues. They only cry if they need something and that's not very often. So, I mean, I couldn't ask for a better set of twins, so. So why do these boys need to have blood transfusions in the first place? Well, it's an RH incompatibility issue. I will link an article in the description that will explain it leaps and bounds better than I ever could. But basically the boys and I had a blood incompatibility and my body, the antibodies in my body attacked, attacked them in the womb, uh, making them jaundiced when they were born. It was so severe that we've had to have four blood transfusions now. This is the fourth, but it is getting better. It's been three weeks since we've had a blood transfusion and three weeks ago, it was just Harry. Four weeks ago, Max had one. So it is getting better. Fingers crossed that this is the final blood transfusion that we are going to have to do. Goodness. He's like, feed me, Ma. Yeah, you hungry? Stay still. Stay still for the next Your club. Your club. Man, this IV in here is not going anywhere, huh? Take a more. All 
All right, we are done with the blood transfusion. Mission success. Time to get these boys packed up and head home. I'm gonna end the video here. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you would like to see more of our adventures, you can click the link right here or maybe right here. I don't know. I'll put it somewhere up there for you and we'll see you next time. Bye.